you guys like uh, orange juice? <laughs> <laughs> Coming up. Oh God, this this is where this is where it lives right here. Alexa, when did Westworld season three end? I could make you get like Dolores bending over, and then your belly button is her butthole. That is also very similar to the Matrix. Oh fuck off, you dick shit fucker. <laughs> Plinkus Badge Party is brought to you by your mom's butt cheeks. Sure, sure. All right, now we're cooking with cucumbers, baby. Before we get too deep, are you able mm -hmm. to lift your camera? I can't see your eyeballs. You can't see my eyeballs? Oh, shit. I le legitimately see, like... I'm, I'm, trying I'm trying to be mysterious. I'm trying to be mysterious over here. <laughs> I'm like, this might be a little weird. <laughs> there we go. Is that better? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yes, that's better. That's, that's yes. better? You can actually see me? <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> this is like looking at your nose the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying something new. I guess it doesn't. I guess it didn't work out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so what? What did you think of Westworld season four? We all know you're the biggest Westworld fan of all time, so it's oh, probably yeah. gonna be very positive if I had to guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what? What do uh, you, you think? It's just so repetitive. I feel like it's so repetitive. It is. Rep I, I know. I know. Cause this is pretty much like season one all over again. But yeah. I, but I kind of love it in a way. I mean, it's fine, um, but it, it's just like, for fuck's sake, like, it probably took them 20 minutes to film this episode because they used <laughs> the same shit over. I'm like, Jesus Christ. They're like, I'm H like HBO's like, wow, you guys made this in record time. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 that's, I mean, I get it. I know, I, I, I know that's just part of the storyline and that's how yeah. it is. But I, for whatever reason, that's always driven me nuts. Like, I feel like an insane Honestly, person. Honestly, you don't, you don't like, like it when, like, you like, because, like, I like to look uh, for, like, the little details that are different and shit like that. I find that yeah, so funny. See, I, it's just not me, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just, and then, like, it's not Dolores. It's, like, she's a human now, supposedly. I, it's N like, Nick's theory, what? Nick's theory that he wanted me to bring up on here is he thinks that eventually this is Dolores or it's going to be what Dolores is based on, which I, I think we've kind of, like, it could be something like that. Yeah. But he he thinks this is Dolores. That's Nick's theory. I mean, I I wouldn't doubt it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is. Or I mean, yeah. Uh, so like, well, where 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 where, do, where like supposedly where did Dolores go? Well, because remember at the end of last season when she defeated Rohibam to delete whatever all the shit was, oh. she deleted herself too. Mm -hmm. But she's still in a Charlotte Hale. My thing is, though, because you know how Teddy's in the valley, like, at the end of last season, two, Bernard put, went into the valley beyond to go see Teddy and all those people. Yeah. And then he shows, Teddy shows up at the end of this, so it makes me wonder if, if, if she's in the valley beyond or something, or is this after all that? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, it was, I didn't think it was a bad episode. Um, oh. So, so you, you actually didn't like it some, though? It, it's... I mean, not not that I didn't like it. I didn't love it. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't hate it. Um, I mean, I, I guess it's just hard to. I guess make up it, your mind it is hard to, it, but it's also hard so. to review a first episode like that because no, it's yeah, just 100%. throwing you into the new world. That's kind of like on Westworld. Yeah. Each season's a new show, basically. Well, but, I mean, and then you got then you have Maeve back, and then you have Aaron Paul back. I can't think of his character's name in the Caleb. Movie. I only remember that because I was just writing and it the, down. <laughs> not the movie, but. Uh, and then you have uh, James Marsden. Yeah, back, yeah. Which what was his name? Teddy. 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 Yeah. And then so I'm like, oh, I'm like, well, here we go. Get the whole gang back together. Like, yeah. And we're we're just in a, you know. So are we? Is it? <laughs> May I don't know. Maybe it's because I I just don't fully understand it. So is this a real world they're living in, See, or is I this think, a? I think that's the question. made up world. That that's that, I think that's the big question that we're gonna go because you know those those weird ass street lamps that she has, the, yeah. those are in the intro of the show. Those popped up in something else that someone else was looking at on the screen. So something with those means something, which makes me mm. think it is like uh she's in another world or something. I, you think there's something to do with the flies, maybe? And the well, the flies definitely control people. Oh my god! 
<laughs> but I thought of you every fucking time there was a fly. I thought of you. They went back to our season one podcasts and were like, oh, has like those flies? Let's bring the flies back. Yeah, well, I mean. Hey, maybe it'll, I, I, maybe this will connect to the night of too, and it, they will be recording shit too with all the animals. I think that would be great. <laughs> it's funny because this is, I mean, like when that Peter guy showed up. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like, hey, they should just. It should just be Peter Parker. It should just turn into Spider Man. Right? Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> I was like, totally good. Did you? Did, you don't watch it with subtitles on, do you? I do. I I watched it that way for my, my second time when I took notes, and uh, the guy that went to go kill Caleb's daughter and, and kill Caleb and all that, his name was yeah. Walter. So I was like, oh shit! I I, uh, I wonder if they did that on purpose for a Breaking Bad wef- reference. I feel like obviously, or if that was just a coincidence. I, I, it probably was a little... Yeah, but I saw uh, that, and uh, I was like, oh, shit, Walter's just always fucking trying to kill this guy. So, but see, so here, here, here's here's the thing, mm-hmm. that that I feel like we are in a, I don't know, what do you call it, a simulation? It could be, it could be, it could be something, because like, it could be like a VR because, thing because or something. Because gaming. she writes. Mm-hmm. Writes. I mean, she speaks it, and then it... I guess, yeah, she, she's, more, she's more of a speaker, not a writer, yeah. yeah. But... So, I mean, like, and then that, that guy obviously keeps calling her. I thought it was a woman on the phone. <laughs> and then really? the Peter guy showed up. I did. I was like, I'm wow. like this is a woman. Um, and then Peter shows up. I'm like, oh, okay. But that's what makes me believe that we're in, like, a simulation world or whatever or a at least partial AI world. Mm-hmm. Here, I got... I, so the simple fact that she makes these stories... Well, in, in the first, when she's writing, like, the first time we see, it pops up and she's building shit, and it is Dolores. It's legit. Yeah. She's just making Dolores there. So, like, where the fuck did that come from? Right. I mean, it, it, I, I'm, I'm wondering if almost, like, and I, and I feel like it can't be, but it almost feels so, like part of it is prequely with her. So how, do we know how much time has elapsed? I mean, is this, like, picked see, up? And that's, that's where I think it'll get confusing, because there's a theory that there's a lot of timelines this season. But I think I think the main story that we're watching with Caleb and all that it's just seven years, so it's been mm. seven years since the last season. But if if people's theories right, which I took a screenshot off Reddit, I because he did did he have the kid? He didn't have Frankie last. No, he didn't. Season, he didn't have right? that kid or the girl last season. Yeah, right. He just had right. um. What was that? What's the rapper that was in the last season? Kid was Kid, kid Cudi. Cudi. Yeah, he had Kid Cudi yeah. with him, and that was it. Uh, yeah, but, but, I was kind of expecting to see him. I, I, but I think he died. Yeah, but I, I thought we'd see there was that girl and that he had that football player with him, and he had like those that emotional T shirt that like it like was like it saved oh, yeah, Mar- Marshawn, Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, yeah. I, like I thought they would have been in this episode. <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> uh, but so this I is, was gonna say Kanye, but I was like, I don't oh, know that would have been was. fucking nuts if Kanye showed up. It's not in this. Um, but so these are the supposed timelines off of Reddit. Uh, oh, God. So timeline, this, timeline this number this one. Right <laughs> I know this is where you're from. I'm not watching it anymore. But, it re- I mean, it really does. It fucks me up. Uh, it's see, just I, like, I love it though. But I just I, can't wrap my head around it. But so I'm stupid. I don't care. So timeline one is Christina in New York right after the hosts were beamed to the sublime. I don't see. I don't know what this <laughs> stuff is. But supposedly they say this is her uh, in the future, just after everything in the first three seasons to make it so okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, timeline two is seven years after the events of season three with Caleb and his family and Maeve. So they think all that is completely separate from Dolores in its own timeline. And then uh, okay. they, timeline number three supposedly is eight years after the events of season three with William and Charlotte Hill. And they're taking over the Hoover Dam. They think that's just one year after Caleb and Maeve. And then timeline number four is... Is oh, 14 God. years after the events of season three, Maeve is hiding out in the woods and recalls the events of timeline number two, where Caleb dies. Mm-hmm. Which I did wonder about that. Which I, actually, I'll, I'll let you get your. What's your opinion on those timelines? And then we'll get into my notes. It's just so much. It, I mean, it is a so lot. Which I mean, and we don't much. even know if that's the case. It well, could, I know, but but that, but see, that's the that's the whole thing, and that's the whole. Like you, you're literally decompartmentalizing the the like the season. Yeah. Like because like you're you're what like let's just say that these are true. Mm-hmm. Like there are four or more timelines. So like like you're just sitting there and you're like, okay, this little fucking four minute scene is 
seven years from the end of the season three. Yeah. And then when they go to New York, it's like, okay, yeah, this but, uh, but right I also away. think you don't have to think about that. I think, I think like you could just watch the show though. And then those will, it'll reveal itself when it needs to. So I don't think it you need to wor- though. <laughs> not for me. It doesn't do that. Yeah. I'm not trying to hate. I'm not, no, no, no. I'm, I get I'm that. I know. I get it's that. It's just like, it literally just, it's like, I don't know. It's like, it breaks my brain. It literally breaks see, but, my brain. See, but I think, like, for the most part, like, we can theorize and all this, but then just, and then just when you turn it on, just kind of tune out yeah. a little bit, watch it, and and I think the show will naturally reveal stuff. I mean, maybe this season will, won't will be as bad as last season, and they won't. Yeah. But well, if it's, if, so, it's right? if it's like one and two, eventually you'll kind of get it, you know? Because I mean, obviously, so I mean, like, let's start at the beginning, mm-hmm. okay? With the man in black. Yeah, you got William at the Hoover Dam. He's at the Hoover Dam, and he's gonna buy he wants to buy the hoover dam and this fucking thing that they have stored what memories or yeah i don't i don't know i I assumed that's probably all the hosts or something but who knows because see like and that's why i say how far in the future is this supposed to be because i mean he's still alive like he's old as dicks Well, but he's he's remember they killed him at the end of last season and now this is a robot yeah Yeah. which is true you know what nick brought to my attention we still haven't even seen the man in black from the end of season two, that end credit scene with his daughter. We haven't even mm. gotten to that timeline yet. And I, he said Makes, that, and I was like, oh, wow, that's really dumb, actually. That probably never will. And may, I mean, maybe they'll get it to this season, but it doesn't seem like this season is heading towards him going back to the park, reliving season two, and losing his mind. Mm. Like, wouldn't that be dumb? I mean, I feel like it would be pretty dumb. Yeah, so I feel like, like, what, what was the point of that? Unless we get back to that somehow, what was the point of that end credit scene? Or maybe they touched, I don't know. Maybe it was just like, uh, we shot it, let's put it in there. <laughs> we gotta put everything <laughs> we shoot in there. I, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, but he, yeah, he brought um, but, that up. But but I, thought that, I, thought that was, I thought that was interesting. Um, so, I mean, he pretty much can do whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> he's, he's like Ben Margera, he could do whatever the fuck he wants. What will he do next? Whatever the fuck I want. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, I mean, he's like, here, I'll pay you this, or tomorrow you'll give it to me for free. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, he did it. I, I mean, like that when he's like, all right, manana, and walked off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. It's just, It was interesting because that's what made me go, I forgot that they had killed him off or whatever and that this was a robot. Um I also found it interesting that when the people were after Maeve, mm-hmm. that 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 the guy that she cut his head off, he was in the previous seasons. Yeah, yeah, I wrote that down. He was like the colonel in season one. Yeah, and like he, yeah he was up. like the yeah. And I thought it was cool how she could basically pull he, that little thing out. Yeah, and that like, was really neat. Look, look through his like memories and shit. I was like, that's pretty crazy. Like it was fucking disgusting. Cool. Like all the heads around her, and then she closes the head when she's done. Like it's a, like a, like she's hanging up a cell phone. But it's the fucking dude's head. I know. But yeah, that that, uh, that was neat. And I actually, I actually enjoyed her stuff this episode. Usually, I don't like her stuff that often. Yeah, see, I've always liked her. I I I I, th- I like her more than Dolores. Oh, I know man. that. Yeah, she. Just Although neat. I guess yeah, you have because you've been you've been rooting for the <laughs> Maeve Dolores fight since season one. Yeah. And just, <laughs> Which you you did you? It's so funny. You pitched that as a theory, and it was so crazy. The second to last episode of season one, and then it happens in season three, and then you pitch the flies happens in season four. I think you might be fucking. You're you're Christina. You're over there <laughs> pitching your video games, and it happens in real life. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. You might you might be getting like a fly tattoo or something. Oh, oh yeah, we should bring that up. So if you, people, which probably anybody watching this doesn't, uh, I tweeted at, follow me on Twitter, I tweeted out that uh, if Hess gets a right theory this season, I will get a Westworld tattoo of his choosing. Whatever he yeah. wants. It could literally, it could be like Dolores' butthole. I'd have to get it. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I, I would hope you'd be nice, but you know, <laughs> yeah. anything's an option. I definitely wouldn't do that to you. I'm not gonna be like, yeah. I think Can you, you imagine? Have you get. have to get a butthole right on your forehead. Yeah. I could make you get like Dolores bending over, and then your belly button is her butthole. Oh shit, that's fucking yeah. good. I like that. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> that would be. Oh my god, that'd be so great. Imagine me going to like a kiddie pool after that. Like we're going out like to a yeah, public I don't pool. Think you could. Take my shirt yeah. off. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't think you could do that. You couldn't go to a kiddie pool anymore. Damn. <laughs> 
He probably shouldn't be going to him anyways. Yeah, probably should be. <laughs> well, you know, you it's know, fun. He did just turn 27 yesterday. It's <laughs> usually not a cool, good idea for 27-year-olds to hang out at kiddie pools. <laughs> but oh, maybe if you're fuck. taking uh, Damien or whatever, but, you know. Uh, you, gotta a, you gotta have a reason to be there for a kid or something. <laughs> Um, but all right, what else, what else did Maeve do? She did all that. Oh, yeah, so then she goes and saves William, and she, she does all the guy's memories to find, and she sees that William sent yeah, those but, guys so like, him. so, like, the power shut off because, like, she was just thinking so fucking hard, or what? Like, what I, was that all about? I guess. I guess because she's a robot. I, I mean, that's kind of wild to think how, the things that they were thinking about and doing at Westworld never did a power outage ever, but yeah. she thinks about, like, four memories that we've seen a hundred times other than Caleb dying. And it put a power outage to the whole like town. Yeah, it is a little weird. Well, yeah, because I mean that that's that's like what confused me. It's like, is this like what what just happened? So, do you think when she was having those flashes, are you saying that? Do you think that those were all in the past, and it was just this first season, second season with Hector and all that, and her daughter, and then stuff we didn't see with Caleb getting hurt, or do you think the Caleb stuff was a future thing? Because it looked a little. You know how like they had the flashes like Bernard in season two. Yeah, some of those were in the future. See, none of that even crossed my mind. Oh, see, the, se- the second that. I saw him, I was like, "Oh, is that a future scene?" Because like we never saw him on the floor bleeding and her holding him. Yeah, see, that never crossed my mind. I don't. Um, I just kind of assumed it was something that we just they never showed us. You I mean, know? I think that's what you're supposed to think, but it, it made me curious if if it I mean, was some probably future shit. You're probably right. It, it'd be confusing on, like, because where she was, like, I guess not, I don't know. It's just really confused to think about where, was she sitting there and getting visions of the future, or were we seeing her at a different time she remembered? It is interesting to think, or to potentially think that it could be yeah. the future. See that? I mean, I don't know. It's just confusing as shit. No, yeah, so yeah, definitely. But so confusing. Listen, we'll go now, now to Caleb, a little less confusing. Uh, he's, just, he's teaching his daughter to shoot. I like that. A little airsoft and, like, whatever, yeah. their backyard-ish kind of thing. Yeah. His wife thinks he's paranoid. I bet she felt like a real bitch at the end of the episode. Oh, she pretty much said it. She goes, <laughs> yeah. I, here, here I am thinking you were crazy this whole time. <laughs> like, yeah. The, so it's like, why'd you, why'd you marry me then? Yeah. If you thought I was a fucking crazy it, paranoid fuckboy. See, that that too, there's a lot of, I feel like, parallels. Like you said, they redo shit in the show all the time. Him and his yeah. wife and his daughter stuff was like a little bit of Williamish, I feel like, with his daughter, except not as crazy. Like the wife was annoyed that he wants, he's talking about war instead of going to the park. Shit like that. I feel yeah. like that was a little connection y. But I don't, like, I well, wonder if she, like that means anything or if it's supposed to just be like, hey, it's similar. The funny thing is, I mean, it's not funny, but. <laughs> Like when when she dropped her bear bear or whatever she mm-hmm. calls it, I legitimately thought that he was going to end up killing his daughter. Oh my god, that been wild! Well, because I'm going, shit. I, I I literally was like, he's gonna fucking kill her. I'm like he's gonna accidentally kill her. <laughs> that would have like, been crazy. I'm like, that's pretty dark for episode <laughs> one, and I was like, it is HBO. I'm like, this is true. I'm like, you know what I just thought about. I don't think I we got one be... penis in this show. You're just saying it's HBO reminding me. Is this the first like first episode of Westworld? No dicks? Mm, like for like because usually the first episodes I feel like they show a bunch of hosts naked in a room or something. Yeah, but see that's the thing. I mean, I don't think we were supposed to know if we're in a hosting I, world. I guess or that's a, true, yeah. Or in a real world. Yeah. Well maybe maybe we'll get some penises later on. I mean, maybe for your sake. Yeah, I mean, we, can, we can only hope. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want any. I don't want any. <laughs> nah, come on. You, did, did, did you, you know did you, you missed the... that guy's huge cock when, when she was pouring the water and looking at it in, like, season one? You know you no. missed that. <laughs> no. No. Did you see the uh, graffiti on the wall when Aaron Paul was teaching his daughter how to shoot? Mm-hmm. The, what did it say, my, like, my brain, my body or something like yeah. that? Yeah. It made me wonder yeah. if, like, was that already there or did they add that in recently? Yeah, I don't know. And like, cause like, I mean, that's just a little graffiti on the wall. You could probably add that in there pretty quickly. You know what? The, you know what? You know what bothered me uh, was when Maeve set the cabin on fire. Mm-hmm. I thought the CGI up to that was horrible. Some of the visuals in this one was a little. Like, sometimes on the Hoover Dam, it didn't look that great, even though they did actually film there. I felt like I yeah. saw. But yeah, even the fire, some of it was a bit off. 
like the fire i was just like really i'm like that looks fucking terrible like even the, like, the shot from the window it literally looked like they just had like a barrel on fire inside to look like fire was coming up in the window yeah like yeah no it was bad like, like when she dropped the match or whatever i was like <laughs> that looks like some cw shit right yeah, there I'm i like, I, I saw a few bad. other people talking about that it was pretty <clears throat> bad but yeah it it was a little weird i mean i don't know i mean did they you know obviously budget i don't know if they rushed it to try to fucking get it done i have Maybe. no idea but i mean because what when did the last season end alexa when did westworld season three end westworld season three ended on may 3rd 2020 may 3rd 2020 so over two years ago yeah wow jesus fucking christ you've been talking about this show i feel like my entire life well it's funny because like abby did, abby was like, there's only this is only the fourth season, and I go, yeah. She goes, I swear to God, I thought there was like eight seasons. I'm like, no, I'm like, this is the fourth. Yeah, I go, they come out with a new season like every two to three years. Yeah, it's fucking, it is crazy. What, what year did what did what year did it premiere? I think 2016. Uh, Alexa, when did Westworld premiere? Westworld, the TV show, premiered on October second, 2016. Jesus fucking Christ. Six fucking years ago. All right, all right, Alexa, stop. 2022. Oh, it's already aired. You don't need to tell me when the new one's going to air. Six, six years ago it came out. Jesus Christ. And they have had three full seasons. So it's every two years. And the years. only things that changed is instead of sitting over there, I sit over here now and you sit at your house to do the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> That's about and, it. And... Uh, I mean, you still see repeated scenes from season and we're one we're still and everything. Someone literally in the next on gets a... T Teddy gets a tiny little paint can what, rolled to him in what, the next on. Was there a next on? Yeah. Oh, you didn't see watch the next on? There's I, a next well, on I, and there's a breakdown of the episode where like they go through and explain to every person. I, I saw that. So I must have just... Because I, I got up and like did other stuff. Like, it, it's it's actually... It's in the weeks ahead. So it's just a bunch of like nonsense. Uh, okay. But it it is... There is like a two minute little thing. Cause I watched the uh, the little episode breakdown where oh, they were mm -hmm. like they were talking about you know oh we, <laughs> Dolores we cool is dead and gone yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I still yeah, don't I, don't, I, I feel like Nick's probably pretty Which, accurate on that in the next one if you have subtitles on it when she talks it says Dolores Abernathy uh, and I was like you never with this show is that a fuck what? on HBO or is that like a clue I I meant to ask what was, what was your tweet about what what when you said it was this on purpose? To, oh, because uh, they fucked they fucked up her name. They fixed it when I went to rewatch it. Her name is completely normal now. But oh. let me show you the picture. It's like there's like a little emoji. I saw. And like, I saw. It's like, it. Yeah, like Eva and Rachel Wood. Or, like it's so weird yeah. looking. But I thought that might have been like a little thing for the show, and then uh, okay, it was just I guess it was just yeah. Because I, I I I saw it and I was like I'm, I was it was like early when i saw it so i was like i'm not gonna text them right now but mm. uh <laughs> but yeah i was like i'll have to ask <laughs> yeah and I, see i saw that and i was like oh, i'm gonna take a picture of that because i don't know what the fuck so, that is so mave and caleb are on their way to do what uh they're gonna Basically go to fight, to track they're gonna the fight william yeah and yeah. stop him from sending men after them yeah as far as i know what do we know why he's sending men after them I'm assuming because of something we haven't seen in the war that happened in between they, three and four. I'm assuming they stole what he's buying at the Hoover Dam. Uh, but I assume I assumed it's all it was everything too. Like you know how like they kind of worked with Dolores at the end a little bit and like she died and all that. It could have been who, that. I don't know though. Because who 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 who's dead? Dolores is that that's I thought it was Dolores that he was talking is about. Is it who he's talking about Dolores? I thought so, but it wasn't clear. Okay. But I really Because see it, it kind of makes sense. I mean, I don't know. I'm just putting this together as we speak and talk. But mm -hmm. like he, he's talking about. He says something about something. I can't decrypt it, and she's dead now. Oh yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, he, they're so, like, he, he, they're like, why then, did you get it from her? And he's like, well, she's dead, and yeah, blah, blah blah. But in the show, Christina, Dolores. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck off, you dick shit fucker! <laughs> I was trying to clear the uh, the thing and it popped it and took me. <laughs> it was just um, from my angle. You're like Dolores. Fuck off, you dipshit fucker. <laughs> that's a TikTok. <dick> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is for you. 
Um, but and, and maybe it makes no sense to you, mm-hmm. but I think I think that he is in the game that she oh, is making. Oh, really? That's that's kind of where I'm going. Right oh, now. I he's, like that theory. He's he's in the game that she's making. Mm, okay. And he's trying to get out of the game or some or like get like a cheat code to fucking like or something of that nature. Mm-hmm. And that's why he's trying to get that. But if that's a case, well, I mean, I guess because I mean, he did basically make that guy kill the owner and then turn the knife on himself and shit. And he yeah. got the he got like God over damn. Yeah. Um, he's he's playing GTA on like it's true, yeah. yeah God mode. Uh, did you watch the newest Matrix? No. The, the storyline in that with Keanu Reeves is the exact same thing as Dolores in this. Like, he, oh, okay. In that he's a game maker, he made the other Matrix movies, and then all of a sudden, like the characters in that game kind of start like coming to life as he's figuring out he's in the Matrix too, and that's the whole story of that. So I was I was very surprised that like this was so much like it. Like, well, but but I mean, I feel like that's kind of cheap and like no, shitty yeah. if that if that is. No, you yeah. know what I mean like like they're like ooh because like <laughs> like you said mm-hmm. to you know when you texted me last night you're like I feel like they actually have a idea of where they're going. Mm-hmm. But I mean, what if it's literally just like Matrix Four or whatever? You know I what hope mean? not. But to be fair, <laughs> could you imagine that, if that would be just like, so oh, fucking? It's the exact same story. This way, God, I'd be so fucking pissed. <laughs> but to, uh, to be fair, in season, I don't remember if you remember this, but back when we talked about it in season one, they talked about how like GTA and Bioshock and games like that is what inspired mm-hmm. them to make the show. So now that they're going in the route of her, of that, her but... being like, because they were talking about like, what if the video game characters came to life, and then that turned into Westworld doing the shit and all that. Um, but so now that they're in the video game like world and they, that they talked about, that's what makes me think maybe they do have a plan. But it is very similar to the Matrix, so I don't know. Because because like what 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 was the whole purpose of her going to dinner with that guy other than her roommate? It, just when I re- she when I rewatched it, I fast forwarded through that part because I was like that part was useless. I know they said he said one or two things that was like something that happened in season one or something, but yeah, it was just kind of. I mean, I, I, I mean, like he, you find out that she d- develops a video, or she's a video game developer or whatever, mm-hmm. and, you know, and she doesn't deal with the main characters; she deals with back characters who deal with the main characters who interact with the main characters or whatever. But like, I, like I was just like, what was? Did I miss something? Like, I, was I, there... it was probably just to show that like people are like. Still asshole. Like she's different. She doesn't get these people. Everyone stills. He like how he. I forget. Was, he's like, there's a tick for that or whatever it was. Like she's not yeah, doing the. Yeah, she's not doing the drugs like they are to get by. Like I think. Yeah. It, it, I think it's just to show she's different, but it really was kind of like, man, you don't really need it. Yeah, because I. I mean, and he was a dick because he's like, oh, there's pills for that, and then he's like, well, there's pills for that too. <laughs> yeah. She's like, what? She's like, what if I'm, you know, what if the world's sick and I'm the normal one? Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Which in the in Which, the weeks ahead, Teddy's talking to her and she's like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "It's not about who I am; it's about who you are." So it's just very very strange. I thought it was pretty cool the the big giant uh, drone that the man in black showed up in in the beginning. Oh yeah, the little his little like uh, I guess future helicopter thing. Yeah, <laughs> whatever I was, it is. I just I was like, oh, it's just a big drone. Yeah, they should add something like that in Warzone you can fl- instead of helicopters. You can fly that around. Yeah, do, no, do, see, little, do a little Westworld crossover. I don't want advanced warfare. <laughs> Can't stand it. Goddamn, <laughs> that'd be nuts. Uh, but let's see. Did we mention everything with Kayla? We did. Uh, so, it's kind of a bummer that I that I missed the next one because I I, I really if you want to like, if you oh, want to watch it real quick, I'll wait. Um, I'm gonna go grab my other phone. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, you think it'll be on YouTube? Uh, I, if you just go on HBO Max, click on the episode, it'll be like right underneath the thingy. There's like oh, in, I do there's, have in the weeks ahead, and then the two other things. Did you see too? Uh, in the ending, the ending song that was playing was called "Video Games" by Lana Del Rey. Yeah, I thought that was interesting because they always have like certain songs that like make sense to what's going on in the scenes. So I like, Abby, Abby, I like Abby knew it right away. And I'm oh, like, really? Like, I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck this is. Yeah, I, I had no idea. And she was like, it's video games by Lana Del Rey. I'm like, <laughs> all right. So are we too... Ex- uh, so does William 
Man in Black want to destroy the park and everybody, or does yeah, I don't Christina know. Dolores want to do destroy it? I feel like it's one or the other. Like Man in Black is wanting well, to I- destroy the park. And Dolores is trying to stop him, or Maven, Caleb, or the vice versa. Yeah, I, I, I almost, I thought before, I thought Charlotte Hale and the Man in Black were gonna make a new park, but now it seems like they're more interested in just making robots in general that instead of humans that live on Earth. Yeah. But I don't know because at some point there is new parks, so I don't know if someone else opens a park. Because it, it almost looks or like we what? go back to like the World War II timeline. Yeah, with Nick, Caleb and Maeve. Nick told me he thought it's a, like a mafia world. It looked is, like. is what they're in, and I was like, "Oh, that'd be pretty cool if that's the case. Yeah, that'd be that'd be neat. It'd be really cool if they get Gandolfini in there. Oh, that would be like that would be cool. Do a little like uh, CGI. It's like a, ho- a little hologram or a CGI. Or you, you could have his son play him, and then you know make it look like that would real be him. so dope. That'd be interesting. Um, it would get the internet a buzzing. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, so with Christina, there's just a couple things I want to say before we sure. don't if you sure. don't mention them. I liked that she got the white and black shoes option you know like a little william yeah and, and then she's like it doesn't yeah. matter but then she, she ended up choosing so uh, she chose white so does that mean she's good but william also chose white and then he became the man in black this maybe this is true. maybe so this maybe, is the start of the woman in black i wouldn't doubt it i right. almost guarantee you it's just gonna recycle the fucking first three seasons <laughs> that's true if, if be... we've learned anything it's just gonna be the same thing yeah so yeah i bet it is i bet it is i bet it's she's good right now <laughs> And then she'll become like pessimistic and just fucking pure evil. Yeah. Um, can you imagine if Westworld's just on forever and it's just the same three seasons? It over won't over? be. Did you see the tweet I sent you? I, just <laughs> I saw, did. I, I did see I, that. I, I ran across that. I was like, "That's funny." I'm like, "I'll just send that." To <laughs> that it was so random. Because um, it was like some account that I don't even follow. It was just somebody liked it that I follow and showed up. That's funny. Um, but so she's getting stalked by the video game character that she wrote. We talked about that. But I thought it was interesting when she's leaving and walking to work three guys walk past her and they're, they're like this place is fucking wild yeah it's nuts and then one of them's like i can't believe this is your first time i uh, know and i was I, like what the fuck is that about you know it's funny because i actually wrote that down and uh i forgot i forgot to mention that because oh, I, I literally yeah. had, had that written down and i'm like hmm. i'm like that's interesting i'm like i can't believe but it also could just be like you've never been to new york before yeah yeah so it's almost like they're just like well what is it mm-hmm um but so then uh where was i oh yeah, her boss they have to be they have to be in a world yeah, they got, have to got, be in a world. i almost feel like it's like it is future world or something you know they have to be in a world but her uh oh i don't know who pwc is but they're calling me hmm. could be pretty white cock oh fuck a pretty white cock was calling me and i hung up um yeah. but her boss hates her writing, and this also is just like The Matrix. They have a whole board meeting about this, and she's okay. she's trying to write stuff that she likes. It feels like the writers of Westworld being like, "We tried to write nice stuff in season three, but all you guys want is sex and violence." And like they were, he was kind of bit, they were bitching about that, and like she almost got fired because she wants to write. But I, that is also very similar to The Matrix. Is Evan Rachel Wood in Matrix Four? No, I don't believe so. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Th- I thought she was. But then I thought this was really interesting. I don't know if this means anything or what, or if it was just to let us know what was going on. But the only story here Boss brings up, he's like, hey, what was that one story you wrote about a while ago? And it, the guy, guy's wife died and all that. He brings up the exact situation that's happening. But he goes, how did it end? And she goes, everyone dies. Yeah. You know, it's like you in Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, um, but, like, so do you think that means more than the guy killing himself and, like, that's the end of his storyline? Or do you think that literally means, like, everyone's going to die? I feel like that that's where they want to go. But mm-hmm. I mean like how fucking pointless would this show be if, if like everyone's after a robot five, by the end? They just kill everybody and that's how the series ends. Like Hey, I mean that's how you want a Game of Thrones to end up for eight seasons. Yeah, but I mean the shit I mean yeah. I no, but no, like but it would it would be, be so lame if it ended in just I mean I, I'm still annoyed. I, I'm interested in William's storyline, but it's still so annoying that they just killed him off last season. Because like, we're never going to get to see rest of human William storyline because he's just dead. Even if you right. take his consciousness and put him... That, that one is dead. The one I cared about is dead. Yeah. So it'll, it'll be interesting where that goes. But that, that is a, that, that's still bugging me from last season. It happens. What are you going to do? Uh, um, but I think that might be... Oh, that's a... Did you think... I, I, I was pretty sure, but Nick wasn't sure about it. The guy that beat up the video game character that was like stalking her, that was Teddy, right? That beat him up. Because they, they reveal him at the end. I assumed it was Teddy. 
And then when I watched See, I was, it, he's in the dark and shit, but it looks like he's yeah, wearing the same outfit. I was unsure of that as well. I, I wondered who that was. I thought maybe it was the guy she went to dinner with, too. Oh, well, that would have been interesting. But, yeah, I mean, it would make sense that it was Ted Dog, mm -hmm. Teddy D. Like, he's like a secret but, guardian or something. Well, but but see, what I thought was interesting, too, was with the, with those lights. Mm -hmm. Why was the guy standing right underneath the light and it wasn't on? Yeah, and then when she gets close, it blinks on. Yeah, that's why something's with the lights. What because, if, like, oh, what literally... If, what if the lights are spawn points? Well, it could be that, but that's a lot of spawn points. I mean, There's a lot like of people in that steps. town. And if it's like if it's supposed to be like an online video game, people could be constantly respawning or something. I mean, I don't know if that's the kind of game they do, but if it's something like that, those I mean, could you, be spawn you, points. You could you could totally t just turn this into the Matrix, right? Like some, <laughs> maybe they are. I mean, like you totally could. Maybe like, Keanu Reeves is the next season. They're like you know sitting remotely in a chair somewhere with like a thing on their forehead, and they're just like you know what I mean. <laughs> like you could totally no, just. Yeah. Part of me, because this episode is called The Auguries, and remember when they were having their memory stuff in like the early seasons, yeah. those were called The Reveries, that's what Ford called them or yeah. whatever? The Reveries, um, yeah. So these were, but I think it's just because what she was doing when she says like, when she's making her pitches, I think that's called The Auguries, because it's like augmented reality. But I was wondering if, like if something with the name of that episode was going to be like, oh, it's like some kind of VR thing with people, like there, this is a VR world that she's in or something. Good. But I, I I don't know. I feel like those endless it's, possibilities because it's video games. So I feel like it is interesting that way. But I'm a little worried that they won't stick to landing because they haven't always. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We're we're gonna we're gonna find out. We will find out. But I, I don't know. From from this episode, I'm hopeful. I I, I had fun this episode. Yeah. Rewatching it and taking these notes was was real cool. It was fun. I mean, I like I said, I didn't hate it. I didn't mm -hmm. love it, but. I mean, I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm so like, I'm ready to just sell drone. Like, he can do it on his own. <laughs> you know, so, I'm just sitting here. Oh, is he gonna show up to the Zoom? <laughs> because <laughs> like, and I don't want this to come across to sound bad because mm -hmm. I, I really don't. But like, honestly, what I enjoy most about Westworld mm -hmm. is is doing this podcast. No, me talking too. Talking about theories, like the show. Like I say, it's eh to me. Like. Like, I mm -hmm. did not like last season at all. Mm -hmm. uh, season two, not I didn't hate it as much as I hated three. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, like, I, I enjoy the trying to figure out, trying to come up with something, trying to nail something that, you know, you and or Nick are like, there's no way. And then yeah. it come true. Like, that's... I, I like really, I really do most. like your, your theory, though, <laughs> of the man in black being in her game. That'd be, that'd be a cool little twist, him showing up or something. Well, may and maybe he's trying. Maybe he's trying to destroy everybody, so he's trying to get that thing. But she's actually, at least right now, the quote unquote good guy, mm -hmm. and she is just do making the game for people to enjoy. And he's trying to fuck it all up and get a hold of it, and then basically destroy it. Yeah, but I don't know why he would destroy it because he would basically kill himself too. Like, and his robot would That's be dead. That's true. So yeah, I don't I know why the a lot of game see, would be there. That's why it makes me wonder too if it is multiple timelines because it seems like it like everybody's rooting for, like it'll just fuck up people's things if they're all it going after each other. It almost has to be almost has to be multiple timelines. Yeah. Uh, I just thought of something too that's repeating like we've talked about. How many more seasons of this are we going to get where there's a new thing that controls everybody in the show? Season season one, they're at the park that controlled them. Season three, it's Rahi Blom. Season four, it's Evan Rachel Wood making video games. Yeah. That, like that is like, how many more times can you do that? As many as they want, probably. <laughs> You're like, just wait till season five comes out. Maybe they'll do it yeah. twice. <laughs> have they re have they renewed for a five? Or uh, all I've heard is that this isn't the last season. Uh, but what if it is? Yeah, no. Like, what if it doesn't do good? Yeah, I don't. Know. I I know the original picks. They I mean, said have, five have, seasons. Have, has oh okay that's what they said in season I mean, one is that they had an outline for five 2024 <clears throat> well if it comes out but yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe it'll be fucking later than that i could i could i couldn't <laughs> imagine them not getting this far and not finishing not, it yeah I Inle did, unless, I, unless it's revealed unless they just come to find out that it was the writers of season eight of game of thrones oh fuck or or they are just copying the script of the matrix they got caught yeah. That too. Um, I did like that. Speaking of them having a plan and whatnot, it which they could have obviously lied, 
But in the thing of like explaining the episode at the end, the James Marsden says that they told him at the end of season two that he's dead. He'll be gone for a while, but he will come back in season four. There you go. So I did like that he's known since season two that he'll be back in this season. So I was like, oh, at least they had some kind of plan with well, that. Because like, like last season was completely different. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't even anything, in it. He wasn't in it at yeah, all. That's what I mean. Like completely different from anything we've seen. Yeah. And then now and this now, season is a mix of like old and last yeah, season, which yeah. which like I'm loving the old stuff, the last season stuff, and it's annoying because Aaron Paul's connected to the season three stuff, so like he I want to enjoy like shit. I well he's supposed to I think, but yeah he looks know, fucking but, tiny, but um but I, I, I don't know I, I'm enjoying it, but I, I'm I'm skeptical. But it is it is sucking me in writing notes to do this pod, like you said. Like if we didn't do this oh, podcast, absolutely. I don't think I would be as into the show. Like I would like it when it's really? on. But I don't think I would be, like, finding theories all the time doing this shit. I think I would just watch well, it casually. Well, yeah, I mean, you want talking points. I mean, yeah, you know. But yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I do. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes and what happens. Mm-hmm. So, um, absolutely. Let's see. I think I... Oh, we already talked about all that. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about? Did you write anything else down or anything? Or are you all good? I, I did not. Um... That's that's really all I had. Um, I did I did write down that um, like Christina is the new Man in Black, like making and doing sh- pulling strings and uh, doing things. Mm-hmm. Just kind of like yeah, I, it was like more of like a just like an observation is on it. Christina uh, is the you? new Man in Black? Question <laughs> mark. It's a title. <laughs> <laughs> You're just yeah. writing a supposed title so you watch it. Yeah. Well, like I, I'll, I'll do that. Like I'll just, mm-hmm. I'll be like, oh, I'll be like, like I'll ask a question in my head. I'll be like, oh, I'll just write that down. Oh, that's a, you know, that's actually a not good idea to like when just you're to watching kind of shit. bounce it off. Because I think of shit all the time watching, and then I'm like, fuck, what was I thinking about the other day when I was watching this? And I'll, I'll just have no idea. It'll just be completely. I, I gone. can't, I can't wait until there's like a technology out where you just hook like a little thing up, like or put something in the ear. And then, like, you think it, and then it types it or, like, draws a picture for you. Oh, that'd be tight. So that it's just, like, what was I thinking about fucking two minutes ago? Oh, it's right here, sir. But, but then that, they, right here. And it's, and it's. That's when Westworld starts taking over, though, and they're, they're controlling you like the flies. And it's Jarvis. You need to get some Jarvis on the. Oh, I do board. need to get some Jarvis on the. I got, I got this. Yeah. Please, no gang signs. Yeah. Close Love enough. that one. But yeah, you got to get some Jarvis in there. <laughs> All right. Next week, I'll get some Jarvis for you. <laughs> Um, before we wrap up, do you want to say your thoughts on the new Warzone map? I can't think of what it's called. Something, something. Uh, Fool's Goal? Fortune's Keep. Fortune's Keep. <laughs> but I like Fool's, Fool's Gold. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of gold um, in it. I mean, I enjoy it. I, 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 I think it's a nice change. Yeah. It's a, it's like um, a mix. Of, it's like Rebirth and Caldera had a baby. Kind of. A little with, bit. With, with like the, like, underground shit and the water and... Uh, yeah. but but I, but I do like it. It'll be nice when we can play that and rebirth like back to back those tiny maps. That that'll be real fun. It will be. It will be nice. I like it. Um, I like the sound of the gold way better than money. I mean, maybe because it's just new, but that's a lot more fun. It is. It it's it's nice that they switched it up a little bit. Because mm-hmm. I mean, for fuck, like it legit was getting it, very stale. It is the same game forever, and then like, hey, yeah. here's one new gun excited yeah get a gun yeah but yeah overall yeah, it, overall i liked it too it's, it's good i'm excited you know i um i look forward to playing it well uh speaking of that do you want to wrap up this bachelor pod and go play some Warzone? we should i think we should all right ladies and gentle dudes well if you have any theories on uh westworld drop them down below and maybe we'll talk about them next week if they're good although if they're really bad maybe we'll talk about them make fun of you Drop but, uh, them down low. Yeah, thanks for watching, low. and we'll see you guys next hey, week make for sure you, episode two. Make sure you comment and like and subscribe, mm-hmm. too. And after you've you watched know? it on YouTube, maybe go watch it on Spotify, if you'd like. Yeah, and send it to your grandma. Tell your grandma. <laughs> yeah, I like it. that. Let's get some grannies on the pod. Yeah. <laughs> you know, be, can you imagine like our biggest fan base is just like 80-year-old women? <laughs> I think that would be great. That would be lovely. I bet you they that like imagine like going to a convention and that's your fan base. I bet you it'd be the nicest fan base. Oh, absolutely. I would love that. <laughs> I really would. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
All right. I love that. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Oh, hey, six days, no cigarettes. Oh, wow. Very nice. Six, six days, no smokes. Are you, go- are you trying to yeah. for good quit, or are you just seeing how long you can go? I'm, I'm going to try to just try to give it up. Oh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So we'll see. All right, well, we'll have to, keep, we'll have to ask keep, you every week. I'm going to keep that in the update counter, you know? <laughs>